Hey guys and girls, welcome to the channel. We are on Fishing Planet and uh, we are doing some nighttime fishing at Emerald Lake. Um, trying to do the Emerald Lake night challenges. Uh, we need to find, uh, catch 10 fish at night. We apparently have got six already from what we've caught. I can't remember doing all of them at night, but that's apparently what we've done. So you're going to be joining me to get uh, the last four fish at night. So here we go. We've just caught a walleye, a nice little one there, 1.4 kgs. What I've done is I have got my reel set up, a run reel set up uh, with a 1.5 meter depth uh, on a floaty with small minnows and uh, on the um, second spawn point. I'll be standing there and casting just over the side of the lilies over here. So all I'll do is I'll grab it, chuck it out there, punch it in. And I'm putting it on the rack. So on line one. There we go. And then I've got another one set up that I'll just want to chuck the spoon off. And I'm going to put uh, a 1 0 hook. Where is my 1 0 hook now? Just check this a nine gram. There we go, nine gram one oh hook. And uh, what I do is I chuck on um, the glow worm on there. I'm just there we go, something's biting again. And uh, it's line one again. So let's just change that quickly to line one. That uh, rod is definitely, definitely busy tonight. not that far that we went out to in like 30 meters on the cast uh, and I've got it set up that I do draw them out quickly so take a bit of punishment on the rod and reel it's fine but um, they come out quick so that's another one that we caught another walleye and a 1.2 kilograms just keeping all of them I need to make the three grand back that it cost me to get you so um, yeah run about there bang it out so that's walleye from the uh, side without having a, uh, a boat nighttime fishing guys nighttime fishing uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull this one out as well because our challenge is obviously to get the, the 10 fish at night um, I'm just gonna reel it out chuck it in next to that one um, or in their vicinity anyways this one we've got it i think 75 centimeters which no it's on a meter great stuff okay so that's not bad um so just to show you that you can catch them on on different depths there we go right next to that one there okay and we'll sh shove that on uh, number two and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to grab my glowworm and i'll chuck that out to the front as far as we can Nice long cast. When I say long, I mean it's not that long. It's 36 meters in length. Uh, I let the worm sink all the way to the bottom. And then tighten the line and uh, give it a twitch, twitch. There we go. Tighten the line and leave it. And I'll be doing this while I'm waiting on the two floaties to go off. Um, this is basically to me it's a little bit of messing around with a, a glow worm to see if we catch anything else um, at night apart from the walleye and saugers so uh, run a worm then I'll take it out and I'll put a shad on there also glowing in the dark and slow this down to a crawl and then just drag that across the floor straight slow and give it a bit of rest straight slow
There we go, that's uh, line two going. Let's uh, heat that up. Fish on. I don't want to break the line, so obviously reeling in a bit and then stopping and reeling in a bit and stopping. There you can see the float you already, so uh, not too far. And there we go, caught it, and that's another walleye. So we've been catching walleye at night um, most of the time, and that's now with the one that's on a meter deep. We've got one, that one there is on one and a half meters deep, but meter, half, one and a half meter, it's all the same, just on the other side of these lilies. Tuck those in there, and um, I'll change this on to number two so it can sit there again there we go it's set and uh, I want to just change this worm to a uh, shad there's a glow shad and I'm just gonna chuck it out I know it says it's too heavy for the rod but it ain't really and it will just Do a bit of twitching. There we go, fish on. That's how easy it is. These glow and dark shads, they do work quite well. Whoa, that was almost a line break there. Come, come, sunshine. Back this way. Mm. It's going to snap my line. This thing is bigger than what I can handle with this line. So it doesn't. Slow down, slow down, don't get too eager. And we'll lose this thing right at the edge. There we go, we can see it already. And we can pull it out. Here we go. Uh, it's another walleye, 1.48, almost a one and a half kilogram walleye, and that's a nice size. Um, 51 centimeters, so it's just over half meter, half meter in length. And with that, we've completed our night challenge. So, another challenge, all done and dusted. And that gave us the narrow spoon, the little green one, seven grams, a one-o hook on it. Um, very nice little spoon there that we got another fish coin and 1500 in cash and uh, yeah that that I think if we now leave should bring us to um, the full bag of what we paid to get you the 3000 uh, to get in you but uh, let's see if we got any we got exploration store where they want us to buy, catch common shiners and blunt and winners um, but um, that one we will do in the next episode uh, thank you guys for watching I hope this was an informative video for you guys to see whether you can catch walleye at night time um, with no boat so yeah thanks for watching and do us a favor uh, if you like the video please hit the, the like button uh, subscribe and um, ring the bell so we can get you notified of any future episodes of ours Thank you very much and I'll catch you all in the next one. See ya.